now see first of all you want to add any data just click on the add button and here add this data like a here i will add amit and here i will add seven and six or you can add any number like uh, here i will add admin admin and admin email.com here i will give the admin mobile number and click on the submit data save successfully like this now here see admin admin at the gmail.com and mobile number and this one now here you can see edit operation here you can edit the this admin name like here or you can change the this mobile number also like here you i you can change any mobile number and click on the submit data updated successfully like that now see this mobile number is changed you can delete also this data like you delete this admin data like this you can delete any any data just go on the this top section and open the terminal and just open the new terminal after first of all we create our backend part after that we create our ui part now here uh, first of all i will create a one folder its name is the server and inside this let me just go cd server and inside this server folder first of all we give the npm npm in it and after that this in it will be create a one packet.json file uh, here asking me the package package name just press enter i will just give the same exact all these things thing enter enter now see in the server fo folder here see this packet.json file is created and in inside this main file is index.js let's create this also here index dot index dot yes like this and now here for creating a server i will use the express for creating the server and mongos for the connect to the our backend with a database let's install all these thick packages which are used in this backend side now here npm i first of all we install the express after that mongoose and course now press enter now installation is started now this see this all this package is installed for checking purpose just open the packet.json file and here in the dependency section you can see this course express and mongoose like this type of and we use the node one for again I run this app for that let me just install also this one npm i node one node one is a globally but here i will install the this locally you can install this node one globally now see it will be also installed here i will give the if this will be the in the deployment center for that here i will just give the node index.js and here i will give the if this will be the in the development mode then here i will use the node mode index.js like this types of a for running this my index.js file server here i will just type npm run dev and press enter now see our this server is running now let's go on the index.js file now here let's create a server first here i will give the first of all const and express after that here i will just uh, export uh, import this express 
and after okay here i was given the wrong const now let's also import the course like this type of a and require course is for the sharing data to two uh, domains for that require okay here i want to give the course like this now here i will give the const and use the app express like this types of a after that i will just give the app dot use and inside this i will just use a course like this now after that i will just make us uh, our port number let's see here i will give the call const and here i will give the port here 8080 and here if this is in the deployment center then here uh, has some different port number for that we can give the process dot env dot port and here i will give the all logic if this port name is available in the env take it if not available then use this 8080 now after that i will run the my server for that app app dot listen and it will be running at a port number let's give the port and after that i will pass a one callback function here so the console dot log and here i will give the server is running for checking this server is running or not in the browser here i will make a one api app dot get or you can create anything here i was use the get method and after that here i will use the callback function and here in this callback function as a two parameter which is mostly used request and response and now here i will just send the response to the api with the help of api response dot send and here i will use the json format and inside this json i will pass a message server is running now this server is done now let's go on open the browser and here i will just type localhost after that here i will give the 8080 now see here giving me the server is running you can just type anything like a server is running or cut like this types of a let me refresh see like this types of a. now this api part is done now let's create a, all the api for the save delete and update all this one and this one is a for the read first of all we connect our this uh, backend part with our database for that let's do the this first for that now here first of all i will import const mongoose and from the require and after that here i will just give the mongoose now here first of all i will use the mongoose dot connect and here i will use the url my uh, back localhost for that i will just open the my mongodb compass okay this one not once again mongo mongodb compass for the gui purpose and uh, yeah now it will be open just copy this url this uri and after that just go here and here paste this and after this i will give the my database name here i will give the card operation 
like this types of way i was given the da my database name and now here uh, let's connect this first now here see uh, no data database is available like a uh, code operation because if, uh, the database will be create if the model is created for that let's create our schema and model and one more thing if this uh, mongoose will be connected with a uh, our database for that here giving the some uh, message for that uh, here I will use the then and here I will just pass a callback function console dot log and here I will give the connected to DB like this type of a and if some error then here I will use the catch and here giving the error console dot log error and here I will pass a parameter error like this type of a and he like this will be done and here see uh, once again take some time to here so Here see giving the one error. Uh, let me just check why this error is coming. Here giving the Mongo server select error and here giving the connection error. Uh, for that, I think this local host is not here. instead of this local host. I will just type uh, IP address 127. .0 .0 .1 like this types of a now let me just check again and server is running and connected to the db like this here giving the message here first of all server is running after that connect now here we just change this first of all we want to connect our database then this server is running for that here i will just cut from here and just go below this and here uh, inside this let me just give the curly bracket first of all we want to connect our the server after that i will run a server now here i will just paste this now see connected to the database then server is running now uh, let's create a here schema now let's uh, here give the schema now here for the creating the schema create here one variable const and here i will give the schema uh, here i will give the schema data like this types of a you can give any variable name here i will give the mongoose dot schema and after the inside this i will just give the object and here first of all i will give the uh name name will be in the form of a string and okay here i was given the wrong const and after that here i will give the email and this email is also in the form of a string after that i will give the mobile and here i will give the mobile will be the uh, number and n will be the capital yeah now this will be done and after that here here i will give the timestamp oh here i will make object and inside this i will give the time stamp and this will be the true here because time stamp mean that when the this data will be created and when updated all this detail will be available for that i was given the this timestamp after that now this schema is done now let's create a model our const here i will give the const user model after that here i will just give the uh, mongoose dot model and inside the model this first will be, i will give the user and second one i will give them my schema let me just copy this and here i will paste this 
now uh, and this is in this time this will be uh, singular in the mongo mongodb database automatically it will be create a uh, users here yes now this model is created done now let, let's go on the our api section and here you can see this model is created then also you can go on the mongodb compass and refresh this uh, your mongodb uh, compass and here you can see the CUD operation database cre created and inside the database uh, here here you can see the collection name will be the users user here yes will be added this is uh, with the help of a mongoose mongodb database that's why now let's go on the api section this is for the uh, read api in the card section there is r r e stand for the read for that here i was give this get method is is used for the read for that here i will just give the uh, here first of all i will make this method async async and after that here i will just give the const data and here after this data i will just use the wait and give the name of the this model and inside this model first of all i want to find like this types of a query and here giving me the all this data i will just send this data to the with the help of a, this api to the front end for that i will give the data and like this i will just paste and here i will give the uh, here i will give like uh, success true like this type of a here and after that i will just go below this and here i will create a for the save data to create a data here i will give read for reading purpose you can go on the browser and here you can see refresh this page here in this time see no data is available that's why this array will be empty now this will be done and now let's create our next create data api or we can say the save data like in in mongo db like this types of it now here for that const here i will use the app and give the post method and here i will give the like here you can give like that also but here i will give the create like this after that here i will just pass a callback function and in this callback function i will pass a two parameter first one is a request and second one will be response after that here i will just uh, uh, take a data from the back uh, front end side for that here i will just uh, const here i will just console the body request dot body inside the body we will pass a data for that let's uh, open my here i will use the rapid api for checking purpose this api for that i will just go on the my vs code extension section and here i will install rapid api now this rapid api let's install this you can use the postman or thunder client depend on your uses you are most comfortable for that now this will be created uh, sorry this will be installation is done and now here i will just open a rapid api client like this and here you can see one type of a icon will be added and here you can have a here show the rapid api like this now let me just close this and here i will go just open the new request like this types of a and here uh, i will type my url for that i will just go here and just copy this localhost for checking purpose get method which i was created see okay let me request this 
now see here showing me the success now here I will use the create create like this types of answer sending now here me give me the cannot get create okay here I want to also change this post and now sending okay here no response is coming let me just check index.js here I was not sending any response here I will send the send and here I will send uh, one object which will be the message success true message data save successfully like this types of a now let me just go here new request and again I will send this and here giving me the connection huge uh, why this are coming now here you see this will be coming uh, message uh, success true and message will be data save successfully but in this time I was not sending any data uh, for that uh, let me and inside the terminal section you can see which I was console the request dot body in this time printing the undefined now let's send uh, some data from the here this for that let's go on the body section and here just select the JSON and after that uh, let me just drag this and inside this I will just pass uh, first one will be the name and here I will give the name Amit and second one will be the email ID and here I will give the email at the red gmail.com okay here I want to do email.com and after that I will just give the mobile number and this will be in the form of a number like you can give the like any number I was just type like this types of a after that I will just this uh, three uh, things I want to send only now when I just see click on the send now here inside the terminal section you can see uh, again it will be printing the undefined why let me just check here this is here for the post method which I was created and here I was converted this okay here I was not accepting the data in the form of a JSON let me just use the uh, express dot JSON like this now again I will send the data now click on here okay now see we got a data like a name a myth, email ID and uh, this model now I will uh, all this data I will send in the MongoDB database for that uh, here I will just go and uh, where is post method okay here I will just give it like that here this post method and here I will just give the const data and after that I will give the new and here I will give the model name user model and inside the user model I will just this object I will just pass my body like this uh, I will pass a request dot body and make sure that uh, this key name is exactly similar which uh, you have sending from the back end uh, front end side like this here I was sending the like uh, name email and mobile number exactly similar with uh, this schema which you have uh, created now let me just again say check and here in the mongodb database now let me just uh, refresh this and show you in this time no data is available now here and when i just click on the send now here you see successfully and here now let me just go here and refresh this uh, my database okay here i want to refresh okay no data in this time save why uh,
okay i was sent okay i was not save the data let me just give the wait data dot save like this and here i will make this function will be async operation like this type of a now let me just run again this request which is click on the send now see this will be successfully and here i will just refresh this mongodb database now see here it will be coming name amit email id amit at the gmail.com and this mobile number and here you can see created the timestamp timestamp this create add will be uh, has when this data will be created and update means that when any changes in the this data for that now this both are done we have a create uh, created a two two part in the card section first one is a for the card see stand for the create which have we have a created this one and after that we have a we have a u u means that update now let's and up let's create the update any data for that here i will just give the uh, update data like this type of way now for the update me uh, method we use the put method to update any data for that here i will give the app dot put and here i will give the string and slash update after that here i will just use the async and here i will give the request dot slash response and this will be the call function and here inside the from the front end side we in the body section just take uh, id for that i will just const id equal to request dot body like this type of first of all we check id is coming or not uh, const console dot log and request dot body for that now let's uh, just copy this update and inside the this request here i will change this and in the body section we now we will pass here you can save this also but here i will not save uh, for the id purpose i want to go here and just copy this id after that i will just come here and here i will change id and here i will just give the this id now let me just send this id and okay here i want to change this method this method is put method and click and now see in the terminal section this id is coming and here no response i was not sent in from here that's why this is not coming for that here i will just send the response will be uh, const uh, here first of all i want to response send and here i will give the success true after that i will give the data will update it data updated successfully like this types of message like this types of a and here for updating the data here we can use the uh, like const and here i will use the data and after that i will use model and inside the model i will use update one update one is a one method uh, which is provided from the mongoose also and in the mongodb also now here this take up first argument is a which data i want to update for that here i will pass like uh, id uh, request underscore id and here i will give the request dot body dot underscore id like this types of a uh, here coming id only not underscore and after that i want to which things i want to update which key update like here i have this name amit now i will i will update this name 
for that here I will use the name and here I will just give the name will be the some other like uh, anything so uh, I mean the one 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 like this types of a now let me just come here or I will just remove from here and I will make a, this method will be a wait now let's go on the here new request and send this request okay no response is coming and here giving me the one error uh, unexpected token okay why this unexpected token is coming let's check again okay here this server is running and here give me the request dot send okay here i was given the request uh, okay here i want to give the response now let's check again and when i send now here success true and message giving the data update successfully now let's go on the mongodb database and here is instead of this name amit now see here updated the amit 111 like this and here i was just pass here study data we accept this data from the uh, this front end side from the this if in the in this body for that here i will just pass uh, here i will just give the const first of all i want to remove const and here i will just extract first of all id and after that rest of the value like this and here i will give the request request dot body like this after that i will just give the this id will be here and this rest operator will be just copy this here and here i will paste this For checking purpose this rest operator first of all here I will just uh, console this console dot log and here I will give the rest and here in the new in the body section I will pass uh, some new queue like a name here I will give the name and here I will just give in the will be updated will be like a myth Five five five. After that, here I will give the comma, and now just send again. Now updated successfully, and here now let's go on the MongoDB database and check. Okay, in this time not because I was not changed, and here me updated. Uh, here I will just go. This console line forty three. And here giving me the like a name Amit 55. Okay, now it will be perfectly just copy this rest and here I will pass this. Like this types of a I will pass. Now let's check again. After that, here in the rapid API, and now again I will send this. And here giving the updated and refresh this yeah now it will be okay done and here i will give the acknowledgement for that uh, if this data will be updated then here giving the acknowledgement for that here i will give the instead of that i will just give the const const data and here just copy this i will just pass this data here and here i will give the data update data like this types of a and here i will just copy this data and here i will pass data dot data like this types of a now let me just go again here and here i will change this name 666 and send this now here see inside the data section see giving me the acknowledgement uh, this data is updated successfully and here giving me the modification count uh, number of the count which I was updated now let's create a new data for that here I will give the 
create and this will be the post method and here now I will pass name here I will pass name will be like a Raju and here I will give the email ID and here I will give the email ID will be the like a Raju at the gmail.com and after that I will just pass a mobile number and mobile number here I will give the 930796 like this types of a and here I was not given the the ports now let's send this and now see here giving the acknowledgement uh, Raju Amit and ID name all these created at updated at like this types of a acknowledgement giving and now in the database let's go and refresh this database you can see here these two data Raju and E and this create add will be uh, means that when the this data is created and when this data is updated this is a time now this two things in uh, three things are done in the C card section first one is a create update and for the reading purpose this API this get one and last one will be the delete for deleting section any API you can use the like a simple get method or directly delete I will just use this here first of all giving the delete API like this type of a and after that app dot delete and here I will just giving the like this slash delete and after that uh, I will just use the async operation and request request comma response and this will be the callback function like this type of a and here we accept the id for that uh, here i will just give the colon and id like this type of a now here just let me just console id to request params dot id now after that console dot log id for deleting any id uh, here uh, let me just check this id is coming in not for that here i will just go and here this will be the delete method here and here i will just give the delete any slash after that i will give the id let's go on the database and here i will just copy this raju database id and just copy this here i will paste this and after that i will click on the send okay now see here we got uh, this id now let's come here and for deleting the id he in the mongoose there is a one method let me just show you here just call you can just go here delete just start the delete here see we want to delete only delete one for that just here and here see giving me the delete one and after that i want to give the which things i want to delete uh, like a uh, uh, some primary key we want to delete uh, which data that's when we will define here after that here I will just go and here I will just give the const data and here I will use a wait function and user dot model delete one and here I will just pass my id uh, underscore once again here I give the underscore ID like this and this acknowledgement I will send to the front end side for that just copy this one and here I will paste like this type of and now let's go data deleted successfully here I will give the message now let's go here in the rapid API and just send this request and now let's remove this body and send this 
now here giving the acknowledgement like uh, successfully message data deleted successfully and inside the data giving the acknowledgement true and delete count will be one now in the database i will go and refresh this now see here in this time only one data now here this cud operation with a node.js and mongodb done now here you can see i just show you all these apis now see this is first api for the read data and the second api for the create data and third api for third api for the update and last which will be the delete all these are the cud operation which we have do with the backend like a node.js and our mongodb now let's go on the next part which which will be the user interface we will create our user interface in the react and after that we will uh, use this api and create data and delete data now let's go on the ui part before going on the ui part here i will just make a comment uh, which things i want to post here for that in the uh, here how we can use this api for that here i will just give the comment uh, for that let me just come here and just copy this first one and here i will just go here this is a simple method which will be here i will just paste this uh, this is uh, only for the uh, get a data for that we can directly just use this a api and automatically we get this data now just go on the next part which will be the this one create for the create purpose we can use the like this url and in the url we want to send a request like uh, here i will just give the uh, one comment multi-line comment and inside this here i will want to pass a one object in the body section first one with the name and name will be name and second one will be the email and third one is the mobile like this type of way we want to pass yeah now let's go on the next part and okay here i was giving the opposite sign like that i want to view now this part is for the create and now for the deleting purpose we want to let me just copy this api endpoint and here i will paste this and this will be and inside this here i want to uh share delete update sorry update and after that i want to inside the update this is a put method inside body i was sending the uh, id and or rest of the detail in sense like this we can sending uh, first of all here i will just give the uh, object and inside this i was sending uh, id uh, and after that uh, id i will just sending this is id and rest of the which things i want to update like uh, if i want to update my name then here i will send the name and if email like this type of we want to send a value which i want to update like this type of a and here i will give the mobile and now let's go on the next part next next part will be the uh, delete section now here this delete api this is in point for the delete delete and after this delete i want to give the this id here i want to give the id name like this will be the api in point now let's uh, go on the now go on the our ui part and create this and make sure uh, here some error is coming let me just remove this uh, invalid unexpected token where is let me just check uh, 
why this will be giving the unexpected token error in line number 23 here this one uh, why these are here giving the error let me remove this then check now it will be ok ok now it will be fine and now let's go on the our uh, front end side for that here let's uh, open the new terminal here side and here I will just use the npx create react app and after that I will give the folder name will be the client and press enter it takes some time to install all this uh, react app you can use any other framework like in SCS also depend on your favorite or you are most comfortable for that and it takes some time it will be installed I will back now the installation is done now after that here I will just uh, start this CD client after that npm start you can see this uh, application is running after that now here come and let me just drag this bottom section and now just uh, I will close all this file first of all this one and this one and this one now this uh, collapse this server folder now open the this client and here I will just go on the src section and after that this app.js file here first of all I want to remove this and here create a fragment tag after that here I will just give the react app and now let me just go on the browser and check yeah this will be running and now I will just go on the app.css and here I will just uh, remove all these these things here first of all giving the all the element of the this uh, jsx will be uh, box sizing border box after that i will give the board body background color this body background color will be the hashtag f5 f6 f f like this types of a knowledge like this and after that here i will uh, here in the app dot JS here I will make a one div tag uh, which will be the like this div class name like one type of a container for that container div uh, div class name here I will give the class name will be the container like this types of a and inside this this container uh, let me just copy this container first and come in the app.css here first of all I will give the this container uh, padding approximately 5 pixel or 10 pixel is perfect and after this that uh, I will give the this uh, background color will be let me just give the background color will be white 
ओके नॉट वाइट एग्जैक्ट फॉर नाउ चेकिंग पर्पस आई विल गिव द रेड एंड हियर सी इट विल गिव हियर नाउ हियर आई विल गिव द दिस कंटेनर मैक्स विथ विल अप्रॉक्सली आई थिंक 500 Uh, a little bit more. I will give the six hundred. Seven. Yeah, seven is perfect. After that, I will give the margin. Auto. Now it will coming in here. Now I will give the little bit space from the top and bottom. For that, here I will give the margin. Uh, this will be here. I will give the twenty pixel from top and bottom margin. Now here you can see this will be giving. You can increase this. You can on your uses like this types of a. Now in this container, first of all, uh, I will create my one button uh, for that uh, to add uh, any element. For that, I will just create a button, and this will be the class name I will add. btn and here i will give the add now see here giving me the add now let's go here and this button i will just come in, in the app dot css here i will give the btn first of all i will give the border none background color none depend on the We use the next class for the this background color. For here, I will just uh, now this will be done, and after that, I will give the padding from the top and bottom side five pixel, left right will be fifteen pixel, ten pixel. Sorry, I think fifteen pixel is perfect, and this will be seven pixel. Yeah. And after that, I will give the font size will be approximately twenty twenty pixel. Um, it will be more. We can go eighteen. Yeah, eighteen will be perfect. After that, I will give the border radius five pixel. Border radius means the, this little bit corner. Now here, after that, I will give the this background. Here, I will give the background background color will be the hashtag 194064 now let me just check and this text color will be white now see it will look like this and when i was uh, my, my mouse on this button then mouse cursor will be changed for that here i will do the cursor pointer Like this types of a and uh, here I will add one more class which will, name will be the btn add like this types of a just copy this btn add and I will go app dot css and here I will use multiple time this btn class name that's why I was given and now I will just uh, remove from here this background color and this one. And I will paste inside the btn add. Now see, it will perfectly. And this cursor pointer also from here. I will add here. Now this is add button. And when I was click on the this add, here uh, uh, one pop up is display for the uh, add data. For that, uh, let's create this pop up also. And here. uh first of all i will give uh do class name and here i will give the this pop up will be add container like this types of i was given and here this is a form tag here i will use the form and here first of all i will give the label and this will be the label will be html for First will be the name. Here I will give the name, and below this input, input, 
type input type is here uh, we can use the text and after that I will give the ID this ID name exactly similar to the this HTML4 for, for that I will give the na name and after that I will give the its uh, name property which I will use for the on change method for that here I will give the name like this I has created now next field will be the label HTML4 and this will be the email after that let me just give the email and below this input type equal to email after this id email and after this i will give the name property will be uh, name attribute will be email i will use this attribute for the on change method to insert a data inside this this name will be the key name that's why i was using and after that label and this will be the html for mobile uh, here i will give the mobile and here i will just give the mobile and input type uh, input type is equal to number because mobile in the form of a number that's why and here i will give the name will be the mobile after this i will give the attribute name attribute will be the mobile like this types of a i was given all this and why this giving the error okay here i was given the two times here i want to give the id after this i want to create one button to submit for that uh, submit like this type of now here you can see this form now let's design this for that let me just copy the add container this one here and this is from here just copy and come here and now i will remove this background color like that and here i will just go just copy this and this container here first of all give the display uh, position absolute like this types of absolute and after that i will give the background color for now i will just give the red it will like that it will be displaying for now i will give the left will be zero and right will be zero bottom will be zero and after that one more things will be top will be zero now see it will be coming here now here i will just change this color rgb 0 comma 0 comma 0 and 0 0.5 now see it will look like this 0 0.1 0 0.2 yeah now it will be perfectly now i will make this form tag in the center for that giving the display flags justify content center alignment item center now this content will be coming in the center now after that this uh, add container uh, add container yeah add container now here inside add container i want to give this form tag and this form tag first of all i will give the width width will be approximately 200 uh, 400 and yeah now let's give the background color first yeah it will be look like this mm, a little bit i want to give the top for that i will give the 
420 and after that I will just queue this form tag display flags after that flags I will be the flags direction will be column now all this will be displayed like that and here I will get the padding will be 10 pixel mm, let's give the more 20 30 yeah 30 is perfect or we increase it yeah we can give the from the top water 50 pixel left right will be approximately 40 mm little bit more 30 yeah 30 we 40 is perfect and now let's uh, giving this uh, border uh, some remove this background color white uh, red here i will give the white and now i will give the this box shadow box shadow uh, one second box shadow and here i will give the 10 pixel 5 pixel, 5 pixel, 10 pixel blur, RGB, and like this. Now let me just check. Here, see, little bit shadow is coming. And now after that, this, this all this corner, I will little bit curve for that. In the border radius, 5 pixel. Now see, this border is little bit curve. And let's uh, make this all this level for that add container inside this form tag and input now here i will give the font size of the inside the input i will give the 16 pixel and a little bit more 18 pixel yeah and after that i will give the padding padding will be 5 pixel yeah and let's also design this label also for that let me just copy this and we about this i will give the label font size will be my proxy 18 pixel all this label and in between them little bit gap for that here i will give the in input tag I will get the margin from the top side it will be uh, 5 pixel now see here little bit gap and the bottom section I will give the margin bottom 10 pixel now see little bit gap is coming now let's uh, design this btn for that first of all I will give the this bit uh, class name will be btn okay and btn and like this let's see okay this will be changes is done and now i will make a little bit down and this color i will change for that i will just come here in the form tag let's give the add container form tag i have a btn and this btm background color i will give the uh, some other like uh, blue royal blue like this type of a and after that i will give the color this color will be white and after that giving the font weight will be 550 mm, i think 500 is perfect yeah now little bit gap from the this top section for that here i will give the margin from the top will be 10 pixel mm, a little bit more we give the 20 like this and here i will give the one more section for the close section here uh, for the closing here i will just come and here inside the add container uh, here i will just create Div class name here. I will give the uh, 
close btn like this type of way i will give and inside this i will give the one icon for the closing here i will use the react icon for that uh, let's go here react icons now let's copy this and after that you go on the here and here just uh, now let me just uh, close this application first now again i will just install the my react icons now this installation is completed and here i will just search uh, close and uh, where is this one just copy this and after that i will go here or something other md 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 okay md close just copy this and import this icon first in the top section from the react icons slash right library md now i want to use this just copy this here and here i will paste where is here now see it will be coming here or not I refresh this page okay i was uh, my application is not not running for that here i will be the npm start now here you can see uh, app here this uh, uh, close uh, icon will be display here i want to display inside this for that let me just come and i close icon i want to insert in the form type let me remove from here and here i will just paste now check and refresh this page now see close icon will display here now i want to in the left side for that let me just copy this first and here i will just go in the app.css and here i will just give the add card inside the form tag here i will just give the close btn and here i will give the margin from the left side auto because i want to this cross mark in the here and now let's design this first of all i will give the font size little bit more approximately 18 pixel yeah and after that i will give the this uh, little bit width is will be approximately 10 20 pixel let's check height will be 20 pixel and background color will be red not pure red little bit yeah like this now let me just check okay it will be okay now here i will give the display flags because i want to display the this icon in the center that's why i want to make a center that's why i always use this alignment item center not check now this icon will coming in the center now let's make this border radius 20 pixel 
now see this close icon will display but it will be not look good that's why i will remove this background color and here i will give the border one pixel solid and it will be black now see this close icon will here and this will be cursor pointer now for the closing purpose here we can click and this form and see when i just click on the submit button this form is re refreshed for that uh, let's here come and here first of all i will create one function const handle submit like this types of i will just queue and here i will pass one parameter e okay here i want to give the equal and this here give the e dot prevent prevent default and just copy this function name and here i will paste we can paste on the form tag or in the button also both are perform the same here i will give the on submit on submit this function will be called now let me just check when i just click on the submit then no refresh is done and here see when i just click on the this uh, close icon this form tag will be close and when i just click on the this uh, add this form will be open for that here i will create a const one use state const uh, add add section and again we will set uh, add section like this after that here i will give the use state and here i will give by default i will give the false and just copy this add section and here i will just go here and here i will just wrap this with uh, this condition for that i will just give the like that add section and here inside this bracket i will just collapse this from here and cut from here here i will paste this like that and after that i will just give the this form tag here now let's check now see it will be gone and when i just click on the this add then this will be open for that this set add section just copy this and here i will just go this add button and here i will give the on click and here i will give the one call by function and inside this this set add section here i will give the true now just come here and when i just click here now this will be display and when i click on the this uh, close icon this form tag will be gone for that uh, let me just copy from here and where is form tag uh, close button this is a due tag here i will just give the on click just paste this uh, okay I want to remove from here to here. Now when I just click on here, this close section. Okay, here I was giving the two. Here I want to be the false. Now see this will be gone. And when I just click on the add, this will be display. And here when I just click on the this close icon, this will be gone. Now uh, he here you just type all the detail we want to send this detail to the uh, backend side for that uh, we want to st or store all this detail for that uh, here i will just create one use state const data and here i will give the set data or we can give the form data once again 
form data dot set form data after that i will give the use state and here this is object first of all we give the name empty and after that we can give the email and after that i will give the mobile like this types of a field and yeah like this now this all things are done and now i will make a one on change method when a user will type something and it will be stored on this for that here i will give the const handle on change like this types of a and after here i will just pass one parameter and here this parameter i will just extract const first one will be the value and second one will be the name here i will give the e dot target like this types of a and after that i will just use this set form data just copy this from here and he okay set form data and inside this i will pass one call by function first of all i want to grab a previous value and after that i will give the return and this previous value and after this i will give the name and here i will give the value this name will be given like this one which i was given this uh where is name this name this name will be email id this small number this is a make of key name here which as i was given make sure that this this name email mobile number is exactly similar to the this name equal to name name equal to email name is equal to mobile exactly similar now this part is done and now i will just copy this after that here come and here i will give the on change method on change and here i will paste this like this just copy this function here and here i will just paste this here also now paste this now here just console log this form data when i just click on the handle submit console dot log like this types of in the console let me just open this and first of all i want to open the inspect also Uh, why this my inspect is not opening let me just open this and go open the console this console and now let me just type amit and this will be the email id here i will get the amit at the red gmail.com and here i will enter the mobile number uh, here i will get the 796 any number you can enter here now after that i will click on the submit and here you can see it will be coming like a email mobile number and name all this will be stored in this state and this mobile number in the form page uh, string we can change it in the schema uh, where is schema i was created server index and where is here i will give the string now we can store this mobile number also in the form of a data type will be the string you can uh, change this number depend on you and give the some condition also now here this part will be done now i will send all this data to the backend part uh, for that here i will here use the exos for the fetching the data and all this operation for that let me just install this and uh, here i will give the npm npm i exos and press enter
now this installation is completed now let's again start this npm start Uh, I will close the my previous all this section this one this one and this react app For that let's come here and Here I will just come and Here first of all we set the our base URL for that here. I will just give the import exios import Geos Once again Geos from Geos And after that uh, this will be done all giving with the mirror Here giving with the error cannot import a let's check on the browser it will be working fine or not yeah working fine and now here i will say it uh, xgos base url for that xgos dot Exos dot default dot base base URL and here I will give the my base URL will be the this one just copy from here and here I will just paste this like this and now this error will be gone and here uh, export Exos import as Exos okay was not found in xgos okay uh, i think i was miss something default export i think now yeah it will be perfectly now let's uh, use this xgos first of all i want to uh, create save this data to the mongodb for that here i will give the and this function will be async of async for that here i will be the const res or we can use the data for to xgos after that i will use the this will be the post method and here i will give the my uri uh, create after the here i will just pass my data data will be the this one where is this form data just copy this and here i will paste this and here now i will just console log this data just copy this and here i will paste this now let's check this data is perfectly working or not for that first of all i will just refresh my mongodb this database and after that here uh, let's open the inspect and go on the console section let's click on the this add and here i will just type amit1 email id with one at the rate gmail.com and mobile number i will just type randomly and click on the submit and here one promise is coming okay i was not given the wait okay and again i will click okay now in this time this data is coming and inside this data giving me the uh, this data information all this data will be inserted now let's go on the here mongodb and just refresh this now see here this uh, two data two time i was click on the submit button that's why uh, for that when i was click on the submit button then uh, this uh, box will be disappear for that uh, 
here i will just go if data dot data what is the output let me just check in the inspect data dot data and data dot success okay here i will get data dot success will be true then i want to give this this set add section will be disappear set add section will be false like this types of a and here giving the also message alert data dot message yeah now let me just check one more when i just click on the submit okay in this time nothing is will happening let me refresh this first and click on the here and here i will give the amit to add after that amit to add the red gmail.com and this mobile number after that click on the submit and no response is coming inside object this data okay i want to go on the data section i was not go let me just go data now let's click again okay in this time undefined okay let me just check why this will be undefined okay here i also i want to give the data click here and now here i will add amit 3 after that here i will give the amit 3 at the red gmail.com here i will give the mall number and click on the submit now data save successfully click here and this will be disappear now this uh, data save will be the database will be done now we want to display the our, all this data here for that let's create our this table for displaying the data first of all uh, for the displaying the data we want to fetch the data from the api for that uh, here i will give the const get handle get fetch data and here i will give the async and this will be like that here i will give the like uh, let me just copy from here because only i want to get a data that's why just copy this here here I will just paste and let me remove from here and this will be get data then I want to just remove this form data here and this one is also here after this post change this get method and here if data dot data dot success will be true and i will store all this data in the use state for that here i will give the const data list after that set data list here i will give the use state and this will be the array and now just copy this set data list just go below this and here i will give the uh, data dot data and data dot data inside this all this data will be available and just yes, now let me remove this set section and this will be top side first of all we set in the use state uh, after that we will render now let's uh, for checking purpose just uh, I will just console dot log or I will just console my this data this is coming or not console dot log data now I want to first time I want to get this data for that here I will use the 
huge stair huge effect and inside this huge effect uh, i want to call uh, this uh, fetch data first time just copy this and here i will paste this and now just check this data is coming or not for that let me refresh this page okay why this error is coming mm, where 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 Mm, no error is coming line number 38 okay here i want to do the arrow function okay in this time undefined is coming undefined undefined why this is two time okay the huge effect is run two time for that i will go on the index.js and here just stop this sticky mode because because of this sticky mode huge effect will be run twice now let me check now here undefined okay and here i will just go app.js js file and here i was uh, giving the alert let me just remove this and now let's uh, refresh this page again and now let me just go on the inspect section and check this data is printing or not you see this uh, this will be giving me the object and inside object we have uh, this data and uh, inside the data we have a data okay inside data we have a data another data like this types of a and now let me just console this uh, console dot log and uh, data list Now let me refresh this page again now see inside the data list all this data will be coming now here all this data i want to display here uh, let's create a table and for creating a table about this here i will create one table due class name here i will be the table container like these types of i was given and below this first of all i will give the div class name or i will give the table and first of all table head table header like this and here i will give that this will be table header tr and inside this i will give the th first one you th will be the name and second one will be the uh, email id and third one will be the mobile number like this type of it will be displaying and after that i want to give the this third one will be the this uh, just empty now just this one and now i will just uh, copy this tape this uh, container inside header i will give just give the little bit space in between them for that just copy the table container and now i will just close this file first on the app.css and here below this i will just give the table container and this table container inside this i have a table and inside table i have a uh, table head and inside table head i have a tr now here i will give the this tr uh, sorry inside the tr i have a th now here i will give the minimum width of the this any of this content will be 200 
200 pixel for checking purpose giving the background color red now see it will be look like this type of a and yeah and now i will just give in the space from the top side for that uh, just copy here i will give the table container and giving the margin from the top side it will be approximately 20 pixel let me just give it a little bit more 50 pixel yeah 50 pixel is perfect and after that here i will just give the padding approximately 5 pixel say 1 pixel yeah like that and this uh, in between them this gap is coming uh, let me just check why this gap is coming okay no problem i think this will be okay and here i will here just copy this tr i will just give the table color it will be gone this gap will be fill up automatically and when i was given this background color here i will give the background color will be the this will be hashtag yeah zero e a e a let me remove for this and giving this background color remove now see like this types of a and below this okay instead of this tr we can give the th then this showing the little bit gap no problem now after that this will be done now below this i want to display all this data and like that i want to also view the my table uh, body also for that let me just copy and here i will paste here i want to view the td and here i want to change this will be the class here i want to view the table body T body yeah like that and here I was given yeah 0 e a e a like this and now let's display the all this data for that displaying this is a table head where is close here here now I will open T body and inside T body, first of all, I want to do the use the map, and this will be the data list. After that, I will be the map, and here this will be I will pass one parameter here to access a one by one uh, property name. Now here I will return uh, this tr, and this tr first will be the td this td will be el dot name let me just give the el dot name and second one will be the td will be el dot email and after that td will be uh, el dot uh, what is this last one el dot mobile now let me just check now see all this will come but it will come here i want to make all this data in the center for that in the app.css and where i was given the this tr and td i will all will be the text alignment center and here is not coming here i will do text alignment center yeah now see all this content will be coming in the center now here i will add the two button one will is the for the edit section and second one will for the delete and it data we want to delete and here i want to display the border also for that i just copy this or we can use the some other property also mm, like here i will give the um, 
here i will be the border for now border bottom one pixel solid and this color will be the we can give the c9 c5 c2 yeah this type of and here uh, why not coming because here i was not created a where 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 here i was not given the one more td let me just give that td and yeah like that and here see this all this content i want to give the border uh, for that uh, let me just come here and where is table uh, table table okay here is not table here i will just come here i will give the add container and table after that i will give the border one pixel solid and this will be the hashtag and this will be the c9 like this one why these are not coming why this border is not taking this table Mm, we can give the also row wise also uh, but uh, copy from here here i will paste here i will give instead of giving the directly to table just cut here here i will paste here also not taking uh, why that's not taking okay here i was given that this will be the 700 pixel and our data will be go about this for that uh, we can give the where i was given the form tag container i was given the 700 here i will give the fit content like this it will be uh, fine yeah now after that i will just go below this and where i was given the border border let me remove And here I will just give the uh, box shadow 5 pixel, 5 pixel, 10 pixel RGB. And here it will be property will be not done here in the inside the table. For that we can give here. Now see our table will look like this and now a little bit giving the corner for that here i will give the power border radius 5 pixel a little bit more we can give 10 pixel yeah 5 pixel is perfect now here i will add the two button for that let's add this one will be the for the edit button and second one will be for the delete button now here i will give the button and first one will be for the edit here i will give the class name uh, btn and here i will give the btn edit and second button will be the second button will be delete and here i will give the delete like this now let me just check this button is coming or not it 
this button is not displaying here okay i was given the in the heading here that's why it will be displaying here uh, let me remove from here this port bottom and go below this inside this i will just paste this here like this now see here display the uh, this button now let's design the, all this button first for that uh, uh, this button just copy this edit button edit and after that i will just come here css file here i will give the this edit button first of all i will uh, this font size will be 16 pixel Uh, and uh, this padding will be little bit less i will give the 5 pixel and uh, 10 pixel from left and right after that this uh, delete also like that i will just give in the here comma and giving the btn delete yeah and in between them i want to give the gap for that here i will directly add margin uh, uh 5 pixel and 0 pixel from top bottom 5 pixel left right and a little bit more 10 yeah 10 will be perfect and yeah now i will change this color for changing the color first of all i will give the this edit one just copy this and here i will give the background color this background color will be the e2 f43 and once again why not taking yeah that i will give the background color bt and delete and here i will give the background color will be fa1717 like this now let me just check now see and here i will give that this color will be the white now see the, uh, this ui we have done now let's add this logic uh, uh, for the delete section when i click on the delete this data will be deleted and when i click on edit this data will be i am able to edit this data for that uh, first of all we do the our delete operation for that uh, here i will make a one uh, function uh, here let me just remove this from here here i will do the const handle delete after this will be i will use uh, as this will be the async operation here i will be the async and inside this i will accept the id after that let me just copy from here to here and here i will just paste this and here i will just give, uh, display the alert alert and here i will give the alert will be the data dot data dot message like this type of a and here i will give the delete and plus i will add id like this type of a data will be delete and just copy this handle delete and here come where is here i will get the on click call a function inside this and here i will just accept id el dot underscore dot underscore dot id like this id will be coming here now let's refresh this and when i click on the delete okay here give me the error uh, request failed with a status code 404 uh, why this will be giving the error 
Uh, let me just console log this data list. Okay, here I will use the one second. This will be the delete method. I was using the get, that's why. Uh, delete. Now let's check again. When I click on the delete, a data are deleted successfully. And again, I want to render this. For that, again, I will call this uh, function get fetch data. If data dot data dot success will be true then here i will just call this again and display the first of all call this api and display this now just click on the delete data deleted successfully and yeah like this type of a data will be deleted Yeah, see. Now no data is available. Just see. If no data is available, then here show the no data. For that, uh, if no data is available, then we can show. Um, here I will give the one more condition. Uh, um, here I will give the data data list if zero it means that if some data is available and then show the this part from here to bottom side from here if not then show this part this will be the no data Here, so the no data it will be coming in the center for that here i will give the uh, style and alignment item or we can give the text alignment center now see it will be coming inside this center okay No data is available, it means no data. And uh, we can do like that also. We can remove from here this T body. We can insert here T body. And from here, I will insert T body, will be here where it's closing here not here one more this will be the array and here this t body is Okay, now it's too perfect or some error. Let me just go because I want to give here also. That's that's why inside this again I want to give the array. Let me just give outside. yeah now here no data it means no data now let's make the our this add data is done get data is done and uh, let's add one more data like here i will give the amit here i will give the email id amit at the gmail.com here i will give the my and data save successfully now click here 
and when data is saved then here display the data let me just refresh this this okay when data is saved then again i want to call this api uh, for that uh, where is get fetch data when get data then again i want to call this api like that now let me refresh again Let's uh, add one more th data. Myth one at the rate Amit one at the rate uh, gmail dot com and this font size is also too much. We will reduce this. Here I can just type randomly my number and press submit. Data save successfully. Okay and now see here display the data and i will just click on the delete this data will be deleted and now uh, i want to make edit section also when i just click on the edit then uh, this section will be uh, display for that uh, edit section i want to create uh, another uh, method to update uh, our data for that uh, let me just come here where is here I will just uh, const handle update async and here I will give the inside this I first of all I want to give the ID accept the ID and I here like that mm, and uh, here i want to pass a arrow function now we will use the same form which i was created uh, this one what happening async operation why is not now i will use uh, this exactly similar form uh, same form for that uh, uh, here i will just uh, cut from all this section here from cut here and here I will make a one component let me just create a one holder component and inside component I will create a one component name will be the uh, form uh, form we can create a form form dot jsx or we can give the yeah form form data like this type of thing. form table like that uh, form table is perfect and dot jsx or js after inside this let me just give the rafce and here i will just paste this and now i want to also import the this css also uh, for importing the CSS here I will give the import first of all I want to go outside uh, this uh, component folder and again this comp outside this uh, component folder and here I will just type app.css and here i will just give the inside the props here first of all i will pass a handle submit and the second one will be the on change and any other i want to pass this set uh, here i want to pass a set add uh, section like this one but here I want to pass it this true or false uh, for that here copy this that add or here I can just wrap from here here I can, can give the close like this type of I just give the close just copy this and here I will just give come handle close 
handle close Just copy this here i will paste now uh, like this uh, one form tag component is ready now let's use this component and form also i want to import this uh, icon and any other things okay now everything is done now let's go on the app.js and here first of all first of all i want to import my this form data form table for that uh, form table and here i want to pass all this property first let me just copy the, which property i want to pass just copy from here and here app.js here i will just paste this like that and here enter here also enter now here i will just pass the handle submit handle handle submit and second one will be the on change method handle on change and after that i will just give the handle okay here i will pass it like that uh, set add section will be false yeah, now this will be done now let me just check everything is fine or something is missing now see when i just click here this form is display and here click it will be gone now everything is perfect now let's go on the this edit section for the edit uh, this is handle submit handle on change all things i will be create for the instead of creating like that uh, i will just queue um, i want to create uh, let me just give the here const uh, edit section set edit section after that here i will give the use state and here I give the false now just use this edit section just copy this after the go below And here also I will just give in the paste this and here I will just use the exactly similar here I will just cut and here I will paste now here I will change this set edit set edit and here this is a handle on change uh, here I will give the uh handle edit all on change handle edit on change and the instead of the this will be handle submit here i will give the handle update just copy this and here i will give the handle update and this will be i want to create handle on change just copy this and here i will just come and const and this will be the async like this types of a now after that i will just go on the top and create a one form like this types of a edit use state which will be stored all the edit section here form data edit here also i will give the form data edit now just uh, i will just copy and here i want to store also id also uh, for the storing the id i will give the here here uh, 
आईटी लाइव इस टाइप शॉप है इनसाइड एप डॉट यस लेट मी जस्ट चेक विच आई वाज गिवन इसकी ये स्कीमा टीएड अपडेट आई वाज गिविंग द आईडी ओके लाइक दैट दिस विल बी द आईडी I will add all this data. Don't worry. Now here, just uh, set form data. When will be response coming from the update? Mm, and the launch change. First of all, I will make here. I will give the exactly similar which on change method. Just copy from here to here. And here, I will just paste this here. and here i will give the uh here i will change set edit section like this and here all things are properly exactly same all things are exactly same and here i want to get Uh, if i want clicking on the uh, why this are e is not fine okay when i was clicking on the edit then this form will be open for that uh, very set edit set edit just copy this set edit and where i was you use this Here not. Here I want to give the set edit form. Set form edit. Set form data edit like this. And when I just click on this button, where is button? Edit. then this form will be open for that here i will do the um, on click like this type so pay i was just giving this this set here i will giving the value will be true like that when i just click on the edit this form will be open and here click will be close okay like that it will be happening and uh, uh here also all this all this data will be also coming for that uh, all this data will be coming then i can just do where is where is here i will just give the set Uh, form data edit like this and here i will just give the el now let me just check when i just click on the edit okay no data is coming inside the edit which data is coming let me just check console dot log el right click go on the inspect and check on the console uh in the form tag i got el email id uh, underscore id okay here i was getting underscore id mm, okay here i was sending all this data uh not sending i was just when i was click on the edit mm here i will make the
first of all from here to here handle edit like this type of way i will make one function and just copy this function name and here i will i was just sending all this data for that here i will just give the el and like this and just go on the top section and here i will just give the this is update this is on change here i will give the const handle edit like this types of way now here here i was getting the all this data which is coming from the backend side like one object and after that here this object uh, i will just set uh, this el data to set edit form just copy this set edit form here and here i will just paste this now let and it will be giving me the one more set edit section true now let me just check when i click on the edit here all this data is not on why in the form tag i was not set the value okay that's why it, this value all this value is not setting for the setting this value here i will give the um, like that here i will give the uh, props or i will give the rest like this rest and here i will pass uh, uh, where is input tag here we will pass value will equal to rest dot name and after that here there is here i will pass rest dot email and here i will pass rest dot mobile now let me just check again when i click on the edit it will give me the cannot read the property of a name okay i was not sent the data that's why it was happening just copy this rest and after that i will go on the app dot js and where is i was using the form data here i want to pass this data and here also here i will give the uh, which one will be this form it form data just copy this here and where is form data here i will pass the form data and here i will pass the uh form data edit now when i just click this edit section now see uh, here the, all this data is coming and here when i just click on the add section okay now it will be perfectly fine when i just click edit here all this data is coming here and when i just click on the submit this data will be refresh okay uh, this will be where is handle update here i will give the um, handle update handle update here i will give the e and here give the e dot prevent default and here this will be updating mm. 
for that here I will call the APIs just copy this part here I will just paste this and here I will give the update and after that here I will pass uh, uh, all the update data uh, which will be coming from the here this form data edit I will remove this ID here add the underscore ID and where is where is update update handle update and handle update here I will just give the form data and after that here return me the console dot log data like this data will be represent here I will give the alert for that uh, copy this and here I will paste this and here giving the message data updated successfully like this and this is handle on change and this is edit now everything is done now let's check uh, everything working properly here when I just go here I was just changing the one and click on the submit uh, with status code 404 uh, status code 404 why it will be coming index here I was given the update update where is update okay here I was using the uh, ID like that Mm, instead of using like that I can use the underscore ID like that now let me refresh this and this will be the update okay this will be put method okay no problem where I was missed the mister okay here I was firing the delete method that's why okay here I want to give the put that's why this data is deleted now let's me insert one more and here I will give the Amit delete is not but uh, it will be not firing that event data save successfully and here display and when I click on the edit it will be coming here I will just click 5 and save and here giving the exhaust network error exhaust handle error so call 3000 ok mm, why these are happening data dot exhaust dot put let me just check why this is giving there uh, okay underscore id here i was given okay here i was updated here not here i will give the underscore id click on the edit here i will give the 5777 and click on the submit data update successfully and this will be height for that uh, if data updated is successfully then here we can give the uh, set edit section will be false uh, 
let's the uh, second one i will update here i will give the 555 and click on the submit data update successfully now uh, this will go on here like that it will be perfectly our card operation is done here if this video is helpful for you like this video subscribe to channel and now let's so when I was here click on the add see here when I click on the add this data add successfully and here see this will be display and now when I again click down now see this data is not empty for empty this I will just go here and where I was handle submit here I will just give the set uh, form data set form data where is form and here i will just give the all this first of all name will be empty after that i will give the email and after that i will give the mobile number all these things will be empty now again i will click on the submit data save successfully and here added successfully and again i will click now see in this time this will be empty like that now this video is here is completed now let me just show you again now see first of all you want to add any data just click on the add button and here add this data like a here i will add amit and here i will add seven and six or you can add any number like uh, uh, here I will add admin admin and admin email.com here I will give the admin mobile number and click on the submit data save successfully like this now here see admin admin at the gmail.com and mobile number and this one now here you can see edit operation here you can edit the this admin name like here or you can change the, this mobile number also like here you, I, you can change any mobile number and click on the submit data updated successfully like that now see this mobile number is changed you can delete also this data like you delete this admin data like this you can delete any any data now if this video is helpful for you like this video subscribe to the channel Thank you for the watching this video.